this morning we're off to a national trust called Alaron and we have lovely Rebecca with us as well and of course my lovely Sue and we're going to have a little walk around the National Trust house and then we're going to um, go for some lunch so it should be fun today we are at a lovely National Trust place called Alaron and we just ordered um, a coffee and a tea from the Kenneford farm and I've ordered a not coffee well a cappuccino before we go and have a little sip of that oh that's nice like a dark chocolate not too sugary lovely look at this beautiful place oh look at that chair over there in the corner gorgeous but the coffee is good so sue's having a go first time she's having a go at this game she's got one oh. two oh. three oh. Oh. oh she hit the fourth one no i'm oh, so going, close <gasps> Oh, no, it's not happening. Uh, see if I can blow it over. Ready? <laughs> no, <laughs> that didn't work. It's down. Now Rebecca's going to have a go. Go on then, Rebecca. Oh, oh, she's not free out straight away. Oh, oh, she's done all four. Well done, Rebecca. She's the winner. So we're at this little apple orchard and they say you can you can take home all the windfalls and Sue's just picked one up so I'm gonna try an apple. Mm. That's very sweet. That's really sweet. Really tasty. Windfall apples, who knew? What do you think of this house? Look at the windows, isn't that amazing? Stunning view. Ah, oh, so peaceful and uh, relaxing here. Gorgeous. You can see why they built that house here. This is the library. Little corner spot there. How cool is this? I love it. And then we come into another room. And all the windows were built on the corners to optimise the light, as I've been told. Look at those shells. It's definitely a place worth visiting. God, look how old those books are. I did expect this. You come to this room and look. Staircase. You can only go up. There's no other way. You've got to go up now. Like, this part of the room, the house. Oh, this staircase is so cool. The new University of Encyclopedia. I'll probably read that later. Wow. Jed. Back and Sue are doing a bit of bird spotting there. Oh, there's the sea. It's X-Mac and Babacom. I think they like shells. Look at this collection. Oh, well, that's an interesting shell. Oh, that's an interesting. I think I like shells as well. Look at the size of these whoppers. Oh, they're huge. Oh, these are beautiful shells here. Look at those. That's amazing. This is the most exciting room in the house. You haven't seen nothing yet. It's toilet. Oh, it looks, <laughs> it's actually wet. Is it wet? Yeah, it's wet. I don't know why that's got water in there. I don't know why I'm getting so excited about it, but. That has got water in it. Who knew? What does everyone think about the video quality of my phone, by the way? Because this is a new phone. This is the Samsung Z Fold 6. I'm quite chuffed. That's you let me have it. But see, look how it, it adjusts to darker light. 
So it was essential, really, for your viewing pleasure that I got a new phone. And we come back down the stairwell now, into the main part of the house. With art everywhere, it's just so beautiful. And now we go into the octagon room. Centre of the house. Oh, look at this. Look how cool this room is. That's amazing. Love it. Look at this. And there's what they call a feather freeze, which is all up here. All this you see here. It's feathers. I mean, that's going to take ages, right? Years, maybe. Just unbelievable. All feathers. It's all the way around. Thank you very much. Wow. These are real gas light bulbs. I thought perhaps it's my nose when I came in. Well, two I two you can yeah, smell yeah, the gas yeah, and you can just hear it. Oh, I actually can't smell real it now, Real gas. I don't think you can. Nice. Yeah. Amazing yeah. is that? Now, I know I've done shells, but look at the size of these whoppers. Look. I mean, what lived in there? Look at the size of that starfish. Can you eat that? Well, not now, but you know, back in its time. Oh, wow. Mollusk shell. Oh, I'm impressed. Now we're going downstairs into the basement of the house, which I didn't know it had. Look at the, the way they've done this room. Oh, you wouldn't think you'd oh. wow. Look at this for shells. Look at this. That is amazing. This must have took years and years. This is impressive. I never realised I'd be so impressed by shells, but I am very, very impressed. I'm starting there as well, but it's there. Before you know it, we're outside. Can't believe we've gone over three floors in there. But now so all the windows are on the corners, so it can get the light from as it moves, it can get the light from both angles. And it also makes it aesthetically pleasing. So I was told anyway. I'm impressed. Cool, that one's bends like a corner and that one's straight. Look at the views they would have had. Sidma Harbour. Lovely. This is the old retro jacuzzi back in the 1800s. It's actually called the water tower, but it's got a heater under there. You can heat it up. Get in there. Go on, Rebecca, you get in. <laughs> yeah. How it all started, the jacuzzi. Well, no walk is complete without. We've got a cow. It's got udders and everything. Yeah. How cool is that? We're in Exmouth now, by the way. Uh, we're going to find somewhere to eat, walk down to the front, maybe get some chips, fish and chips or something. I don't know. Just enjoy walk. We haven't been to Exmouth for years. Just going to enjoy a little walk around. So this is where it is. We just found it. A tiny little geocache. We'll open it up. We've only got a little bit of piece of paper in there, but put it back for now. And I'll show you a picture of it. And there it is. We found it. And this is an eczema which is by the front by the sea so a great place to find a geocache look at this for a meal so i've got king garlic king prawns so i've got rice ketchup uh salad um prawns dip chips and more salad so let me just taste one of these mm. oh yeah me too and garlicky oh they are delicious. I'm going to enjoy this food. So my wife has got fish and chips and mushy peas. She's going to let me have a little taste because she's so lovely. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, so that fish. And we're right on Exmouth front, sea front. Lovely. So if you're ever in Exmouth, come to Channel View Abbey's 
they just serve fantastic food. I'm so impressed. The service, the waitresses, so polite, just so lovely. And it's all um, glass screened off as well. So even if it's a bit windy, you don't feel it. It's just fantastic, love it here. Okay, so we're looking for a loose stone for this geocache. Well, 12 feet from the post. 12 feet from that post. So it's round here. Oh, 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 hey, there it is. And there's a log inside. We found it, woohoo. Rebecca having fun on the bars. Oh, she's doing it. Oh, I think she's got to the second one. Oh, she's on the third one. <laughs> it she's, wasn't high. She's got a bit worried. Worried because it was so high. <laughs> okay, here we are out for another geocache. And it says hanging in the gap. So we've looked all over the trees. And aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh, there's the gap. Oh, yeah, Rebecca, you grab it. You're younger. That's it. Oh, <laughs> and okay, there it is okay. down there. Didn't quite work according to plan. This will be the video when geocache goes wrong. Please don't fall over. <laughs> gentle, gentle, careful. Well okay. done, careful, well done. Yay, and we've got it. There it is. Let's have a look. Yay, done it. Woohoo. And we are back. We had to walk about what three miles? Maybe three miles, maybe not, maybe two and a half miles. But Rebecca looks like she's still okay, so it's obviously not that far. We're back, time to rest. 